Hey everyone, so here is my makeup tutorial for Halloween number one. I had a lot of fun making this. It only takes about 30 minutes and everything in this video you can buy at the drugstore. So you can go to CVS, Walgreens, and you can buy everything that I'm showing you. I will also link it below of what you need to create this look. And you can have a lot of fun with it, make it however you want. It's really easy. It took me about 35 minutes. So I hope you enjoy. First, you have to prime your eyes before you do your shadow. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using just a darker eyeshadow for my eyes. First, we're gonna make the rainbow eyes um, with a big fluffy brush. I'm using this NYX Colorful Palette for the entire thing. Just starting with pink, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of orange on the top, blend it out as much as you can. Continue to blend it and make sure it looks even. Now I'm gonna go with the purple, and this is gonna be on the inner corner of the eye. And you can do this however you want, but I just do a little triangle and then blend it out from the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Concealer and I'm just going to prime the top of the eye to make the colors that I'm going to add stand out a little bit more. Now these colors aren't super pigmented, so it's not going to be as bright as I like but adding the concealer helps. I'm going in with blue. I showed you green, but it's actually blue. Going with blue first, and then I'm gonna go in with green just to create the rainbow eye. Super bright and fun. On the inner corner of the eye, I'm gonna go in with the yellow color. You can kind of do whatever color you choose, but I just kind of went with primary colors of the rainbow. Now I'm putting the yellow in the corner of my eye. Now it's time, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter. So I use the NYX Glitter Primer. All this stuff you can get at the drugstore. And then I'm just adding a little bit to the corner where I put the purple, and then I just put some glitter on top of there. Now I'm gonna do the liner. This is also NYX. This is a really easy liner to do a wing. So I just line both of my eyes with this. Create a dramatic look. Now this is a palette I actually got from Ulta for free, so I use that for a little bit of the highlight. And now I'm going to trace the half face, I guess you could call it, with a eyeliner pencil. Super easy. This will give me just a guide of where I want to put my makeup. Now I'm using the Milani primer to wet my makeup sponge to put my foundation. The foundation I'm using is also Milani a really good foundation full coverage and it's not too oily now I put that makeup within the line I drew on my face but if you go over it it's totally fine so continue to beat in the foundation into your face now I'm going in now this you cannot get at the drugstore but you can use any banana powder or any bronzer so this is the Tarte actually and I love it, it smells really good, but they have a bunch of different natural skin tone colors you can use. So I'm using just a white powder for my T-zone to brighten up my face, and I use the bronzer around my forehead, because you're only doing half of your face. Now I'm taking LA Girl the White Concealer. This is what I'm gonna use for the entire bottom of my face. So I just packed that baby on. Now you can use any white makeup. You can use a cream-based makeup, you can use a powder, whatever you choose. I just used this because I had it and I wanted to use things that I had in my closet. So just beat it out with a sponge and make sure it looks a little even. Now the LA Girl Concealer has a little bit of sheen to it so you can kind of see a little sparkle. Now I'm going over the line of my face with a black eyeshadow. This will help me blend it out to give it a shadowed look and make it look like it's actually cut out of my skin. So I'm going over that with just the black shadow and my eyebrow brush. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is fun. No need to be perfection. So I'm taking the line I just drew and I'm kind of blending it and buffing it out into the white to make it look shadowed, I guess you could say. You just gotta work with it. So here's another palette you can get at the drugstore. I'm just taking a deep gray eyeshadow and I'm giving it a little bit more dimension and blending out the 
lines on my face to make it look like it was actually cut out of my skin. So this took the longest part because I wanted to make sure it looked somewhat realistic even though it's makeup. You can do whatever you want, you know? But it was fun. So you can use a variety of gray eyeshadows. It doesn't have to be this, but this was, I think, Maybelline or CoverGirl. Um, you can get at any drugstore. Now I'm lining my lips with black eyeliner for the lip liner, so you can use any pencil. And I'm just filling in the corner of my lips to give it a little ombre effect. And on top of my lips, I just used the same LA Girl White. And now I'm putting NYX. It's a white pencil that's a little bit more pigmented for my lips. I continue to blend it out and make it an ombre look. And I also use some of the gray eyeshadow on my lips as well. And don't forget about the nose. We gotta shadow the nose. So you can work on this as much as you want to make sure it looks the way you choose. It's up to you. And don't forget your neck. I blended a little bit of white concealer on my neck and then I put a little bit of shadowing on there as well with the gray eyeshadow. Beat it out, beat it out. Looking good. All right, so now I'm just adding mascara, really easy, drugstore mascara, and lashes. These are Christina lashes. I love these lashes and wear them daily. I actually get them on Amazon. I will link it below for you. Super easy, dramatic lash that you can wear daily. Love it. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Happy Halloween.